In this tutorial, we will show how to simulate a bifacial system in PVCyst. We will demonstrate how to set up the bifacial model for unlimited trackers orientation. For this part of the tutorial, we will use the project Demo Utility Maroc and the variant VC0. We will show you how you can use the bifacial model for tracking system. First, click on Orientation. This model is compatible with various types of PV single-axis trackers accessible for the orientation window. By default, this demo project is set to tracking horizontal axis north-south. However, for simplicity, we will switch to the orientation type unlimited trackers horizontal axis. The parameters can be left as they are. A final modification is necessary, because the original variant has a 3D scene, which is not compatible with the new orientation type. Normally, the following few steps are not required when starting a new project. Click on Near Shading. Then click on No Shadings. Click OK. We can now continue the tutorial. Please note that these last steps were specific to this tutorial, and this orientation type. In principle, there is no incompatibility between the 3D scene and the bifacial model. Click on System, where we will start by modifying the PV module. It's possible to filter the list of modules to show bifacial modules only. Click on the filter drop down list and choose Bifacial Modules. Then, in the module drop down list, you will see that only the bifacial modules are available. Select the fourth module, which is named Mono 440 Watt Peak 72 Cells Bifacial. And then click on the button Bifacial System. The second bifacial model is an unlimited trackers 2D model. For this tutorial, we used orientation type Unlimited Tracker Horizontal Axis. Correspondingly, in the Bifacial Model window, we click on Unlimited Trackers 2D Model. There are several parameters that you will recognize from the Fixed Tilt Unlimited Sheds 2D Model discussed in previous section. The Pitch and Orientation parameters are imported from the Orientation window, like for the Fixed Tilt case discussed before. You find again the parameter for Height Above Ground. For single axis trackers, this corresponds to the height of the rotation axis. There is also a parameter for ground albedo. Please check if the value corresponds to the ground below the modules. The bottom part of the window contains again different useful graphs that will be discussed in more detail in next chapter. For the tracker model, you can see some new parameters transferred from the orientation window, which will be briefly described. Phi minimum and maximum define the stroke limits of the trackers. The checkbox backtracking activates or deactivates a tracking algorithm that avoids mutual shadings. This simplified 2D model was designed for large system of regularly arranged horizontal single axis tracker rows. It neglects the edge effects both at the side extremities of the rows and behind the first and last tracker rows.